Hey there, baseball fans. It's Ben. I am back with one of my world-famous player collections. This time, we're examining the life, career, and baseball cards of Roberto Robbie Alomar. Alomar is a second baseman, one of the greatest of all time, uh, according to many sources. Uh, he is a member of the Baseball Hall of Fame. A lifetime batting average of 300, 2,724 hits, 210 home runs, 1,134 RBIs, and 474 stolen bases. Uh, really known for, I mean, he combined great fielding prowess with uh, great hitting ability um, and, and brought every team that he played for. He played for 17 years and played for a number of teams, I think in all maybe eight teams, um, and brought all, almost all of them to higher levels uh, with his play. Uh, probably, primarily known for his time with the Blue Jays, where he they won back-to-back -back World Series. But when he went to the Orioles, they increased, you know, they, they made the playoffs as well. When he played for um, uh, the Indians, same kind of thing. So he definitely upped the, the game of, of all of the uh, teams he played for. Now, I would be remiss if I didn't mention that there's a kind of a, a, a bad uh, uh, shadow over his career and his legacy after, uh, in 2021, there were allegations and investigations into some sexual misconduct uh, with a female member of the um, the uh, the Blue Jays organization. Uh, he has since been kind of banned from working in baseball. He was, is still in the Hall of Fame. The Blue Jays have taken down his uh, his retired number twelve from the rafters, um, and he is not no longer associated with the with the uh, Blue Jays organization. So definitely some serious serious stuff there. And it it sounds like he and especially in his dealings with women was just not a very good guy overall. Um, it's one of those situations where it's like, how do you, do you, are you able or are people able to kind of separate the athlete from the person? Um, I'm not sure I can, but uh, in any case, that's a big reason why this collection probably isn't bigger. For the longest time, I didn't pull his, his cards out of the uh, collections and, and packs and whatnot that I, that I put together. So um, I end up with this collection here. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it, but we'll see. Anyway, I think it's probably interesting to worth and worth it to go through all of them. So starting off with his earliest card, 1988 Donruss rated rookie. Got five of those here. Uh, these are pretty easy to come by. Um, moving on to 1989, where we'll see a lot more of his rookies. We have his 1989 tops in triplicate there. Uh, his 89 Donruss. Oh, actually, this is his 89 Donruss. And this is his 89 Donruss baseball's best. Uh, 89 score. As well as his 89 score, this is like from the Hot Rookies set, I think is what it was called, or Rising Star set. Um, and then 89 classic travel game, trivia game series, this is the orange version. And there is 89 Upper Deck from the Upper Deck, Upper Deck Premiere set. And there's 89 Fleer, and then you'll see a common thread here where they pair him up with his brother, Sandy Alomar Jr., who was a great catcher for the Padres and other organizations as well. Uh, and both of them, uh, followed in their father's footsteps, Sandy Almar Sr., who uh, played Major League Baseball as well. It's worth mentioning that Roberto also, you know, he was he's a second ballot Hall of Famer, and he was the first one to go into the Hall with a um, Toronto Blue Jays hat representing on his plaque. The first one. Uh, so there's his 1990 Tops, uh, as well as his Tops Superstar stickers. There's Tops Big for you, and he really did have a kind of a breakout season in... in uh, 1990, we became an all-star for the first time. There's classic travel game. There is the U.S. baseball playing cards. 1990 upper deck, quite an acrobatic shot there. 1990 Donruss, 90 Fleer, and 1990 score. Moving on to 1991, when everybody kind of recognized that he was going to be something special. So we have his 1991 tops followed by 91 Upper Deck. And I have a lot of 91 Upper Decks. So we've got his kind of team checklist card of the Padres. Then we have his regular base card from the low number series. And then he makes the move over to the Blue Jays, and so they put him in the high number series as well, in his Blue Jays uniform. And then I got his, uh, this is the Upper Deck Final Edition, the All-Star Game uh, card right there. Here's 1991 score. And he was on the dream team for score that year with this cool picture. But I never quite... No, oh, it's kind of a weird picture, actually. There's uh, Fleer Ultra, again, late release with him on the Blue Jays, as well as OPG Premier. He was Donruss Diamond King, as you can see, right here. Sorry, a few out of order here. And then was in Series 2 with his base card for 1991 Donruss. And 
perennial favorite 1991 clear. Moving on to 1992, we get 1992 tops. 92 of Pinnacle. He was also a part of the Shades subset there, as well as the Idols. Uh, that's him with uh, Sandy Almar, his dad. So kind of cool that you could do an Idols one with him and his dad. And then Team Pinnacle insert series from that set as well. And there's uh, Roberto and Sandy. Uh, like I said, the, the Bloodlines uh, subset for um, Upper Deck. And here is the Upper Deck MVP uh hologram series which is just very cool full holograms there just set there and it's 92 Fleer as well as superstars with his brother super siblings 92 score leaf there's the black leaf gold there's his studio card and where you can learn that his hobby is miniature golf he loves Paula Abdul and MC Hammer I uh, love Sylvester Stallone like Scarface the movie um Likes Arsenio Hall and would like to meet Michael Jordan. There he is in 1992 uh, Top Stadium Club, and you can see his 88 Tops Traded rookie card, which I do not have. Uh, there's 92 Flare Ultra, 92 Flare Ultra All Star Insert. There's Tops Kids, OPG Premier, Donruss, Donruss All Star, and the Moo Town Snackers Autograph Series, unlicensed by Major League Baseball there. All right, on to 1993, and all that 1991, 92, and 93, they're all kind of the same number of cards I've got in each of those, and it starts to dwindle after that, but there's a nice action shot of him from 93 Tops, 93 Triple Play, awesome action from 93 Triple Play as well. Then uh, the action baseball uh, scratch-off game from Triple Play as well. There's 93 Upper Deck. And with him and Joe Carter for the blockbuster trade that brought the Blue Jays their success there. There's one of him losing or breaking. I guess breaking his bat. Yeah, I guess that's a broken bat uh, on Leaf there. There's 93 Pinnacle, 93 Fleer, and then this Gold Border 93 Fleer Atlantic Collector's Edition, which is the, uh, they call them the, I think these are the gas station cards is what they are. Um, and there he is with um, Chuck Knobloch and Carlos Baerga for the Superstar Special. The infield Trifecta. There's the 1993 Fleer Flare Checklist where he's featured. Uh, on the back is, I think, Mickey Telton. Is that who that is? Maybe on the front is Telton. Uh, then we have the Craft Singles Pop-Up uh, Superstars from 93. This is the uh, Pacific um, Spanish language set here. 93 Post Serial and 93 Hostess as well. So I love those oddball sets, as you guys know. I always like to have a lot of those. On to 1994, we've got him and Robbie Thompson as the top, as the All Stars for second baseman there. There is a Collector's Edition, or Collector's Choice for Upper Deck. There's 1994 Score, a nice diving shot there. 94 Post Serial Collection. Here's an insert from 1994 Pinnacle, the, the Run Creators. Here is the 94 Fleer Flare base card, 94 Leaf, uh, 94 Studio, and 94 Pacific. Again, the Spanish, Spanish language set. And 94 Pacific Crown Collection. So, not sure where I even got those, but there they are. On to 1995, 1995 Tops Bazooka. And I've got his base card plus the uh, red uh, insert one. I'm not sure what that was called exactly. The red stamp or red medallion or something insert. There's 95, 95 Score Hitters Inc. There is, this is, I think this is an upper deck one, right? Yeah, it's upper deck, 95 upper deck uh, special edition. And upper deck collector's choice all star. All right, on to 1996. We have 96 tops base card there, as well as this is he switches over to the Orioles, and this is that Fleer EXL um, set that I don't know a whole lot about, but he's the number one card in this one. 
Moving on, we have a 1998 uh, Fleer Ultra. I think that's a 98, yeah. And then 1999 Tops. It's a good looking set here. Uh, this is opening day. Then we have this Upper Deck Black Diamond. This is him on the Indians. Uh, 2001. 2002. This is the... Uh, what was this set called? I forget, but there he is on the, on the Mets, and then rounding it out with uh, another card of him on the Mets for uh, Fleer 2003 uh, Patchworks. That's what this set is. So there you have it, a whole Roberto Alomar collection. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that, learning a little bit more about him and seeing all the cards, and I'll see you next time.